Dimensional models are not created for online transaction processing systems. They are created for OLAP system or analytical processing systems. The goal of the OLAP system is to make the data retrieval easier. And because of that reason, dimensional models often have deliberate denormalization built into them. However, dimensional models can actually be normalized as well. In fact, one of the very popular schema of the dimensional model known as snowflake schema actually makes the dimensional model more normalized. Why do we make dimensional model normalized? Well, there are very good reasons for doing that. Let's find out. Imagine in your OLTP system, you have a product table and a product type table. The product and product type tables are obviously linked with each other by product type key. Product type key, which is the primary key of this table, is a foreign key on this table. Now in the OLAP system, if we bring these two tables, we have a couple of different options. First of all, we can choose to bring these tables um, in a single product table, right? Product table plus product type table can be combined into a product dimension table. When we do this, our we will have a star schema and that star schema will look something like this. We have a product Dim dimension table we have a fact table and this is basically our star schema another option that we have is to basically keep these two tables separately and create two different dimension tables in my dimensional model i'll have the fact table over here but instead of a single product table i'll actually have a product table as well as a product type table. This design that I am showing over here is an example of a snowflake schema. As you can see, we have snowflaked the product type table from the product table. So the natural question here is, is there any benefit of using a snowflake schema over a star schema? Of course, star schema has its own benefit. By combining both product and product type table together, we actually have a more concise data structure where retrieving data is much more faster. Whereas on the snowflake schema, since the data is basically scattered into two different tables, Retrieving data from this schema is going to be a little less performant. So the natural question that arises is, is there any benefit of using a snowflake structure? Well, there are some practical reasons why snowflake structure is considered. The first reason is, if the second table contains a lots of attributes that are not used very frequently, Let me explain what that means. Imagine if this product type table has many different attributes, let's say hundreds of different attributes. Combining all these attributes in the product table will mean that all these attributes will be repeated many many number of times for the same product type. This may not be an issue for very small number of data but if the volume of this data is very large and the number of attributes over here are also very large it becomes quite unnecessary to add all the product type related attributes in the product table especially if those attributes are only used very infrequently it might make sense to still keep the product type table separately from the product table and only use the product type whenever the product type related attributes are required. The second and even more important reason of using 
snowflake schema is if you have a fact table aggregated on the dimension of the snowflake table. To understand what that means, let's look at the below example. Let's mark these tables with some name so that we can visualize the concept more easily. Suppose this is a sales fact table and in this sales fact table I have a um, product key which comes from this product table. I have time key which comes from the time table and I also have customer key. And across all these three keys I store the sales quantity. Now imagine I want to create a different sales fact table which has the same time key and the customer key however I want to capture the quantity in the product type level so the structure of my new sales fact table will be something like this I'll have the customer key over here I'll have the time key over here but instead of the product key I want to I want to keep the product type key. In other words, I want to capture the sales quantity not per product wise but product category wise. I can actually populate this new table from my detail level fact table that I have over here. However, if this fact table contains the product type key, this fact table needs to join with the product type dimension table. Introduction of this new aggregated fact table which depends on the key coming from the snowflake dimension table requires you to have a product type dimension table separately. If the product type dimension table was not there then we wouldn't be able to capture this information on the product type key level since the product table doesn't have the product type key it only contains all the product type related attributes these are some of the examples where we still need to use a snowflake schema design for everything else star schema works just fine